On this side. Bailout of the automotive industry. Well, I, I would. Guzzling, suppressing innovation, um, but they were making money and they weren't planning as the foreign companies were. Uh, what I would do is, I think we should have an auto industry, domestic auto industry. Uh, I would uh, have the government become significant shareholders, preferred shares stock warrants, uh, give them money uh, under technological improvement conditions, uh, conditions that they can't use the money to shift plants overseas, uh, and they can't use it for dividends, and they can't use it for bonuses, uh, and then uh, remove the entire top management and board of directors, put in people who really know how to, uh, how to build cars people want to buy, uh, and technologically innovative, fuel efficient, pollution, and so on, because there are a lot of good scientists and engineers in those companies. Uh, and then when they turn around, the taxpayer is going to make a huge profit. Imagine buying in at Ford at $1.50 a share, when Ford is traditionally $30, $40, $50, dollars, $60 dollars a share. Imagine that company modestly turning around in terms of the payback to the consumer. In the meantime, becoming a government shareholder, they can start looking seriously at shareholder rights, which are no, you know, no, no. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. It's an honor to see you and be here with you. Uh, <clears throat> I, thank you very much. I was just uh, interested, you mentioned the automobile industry, and I was wondering what your, your thoughts are now today on the aviation industry, specifically the airline, our air transport system, uh, uh, with a lot of foreign interests now and foreign capital investors looking at the vulnerability of many of the uh, U.S. air carriers. Thank you. Well, as you know, it's now...